I'm back doing more Nintendo Game & Watch. But first, because somebody asked how to do this, I was going to show an easy way. So I'm at Google, I'm just going to type in Game & Watch Mame ROMs. You see the first result here is uh, archive.org. Go here, and it's going to have, if all you care about is Game & Watch, you can get all of the Game & Watch ROMs here. So you like see, he sees Zip, click this, and then there's Nintendo Game & Watch. That's where the ROMs are. And then there's artwork. So you put these zipped ROM files in your main ROM directory, and you put the zipped artwork uh, inside of your main artwork directory. So you have to unzip this. Inside it will be a bunch of zips with file names that will match the ROM names. Um, same thing with the ROMs. You need to unzip this zip and put the zips inside of it, put those into your main ROM directory. And uh, then once you load up one of those games, you're going to go to video and then like screen number zero. And then you can, you're going to be able to choose from all these different options for the art. And I'll show you that when I, when I go into it. So like you, you can get an entire main ROM set here at archive.org. So that's a, a great option for people that don't really understand MAME or don't understand the ROM. Go here. You can get a like very recent MAME ROM set here. You can get all of the, uh, the arcade ROMs and everything. And then you can get all the software list ROMs. You can probably get all the CHDs. Uh, this isn't where I get my ROMs. I get mine off of Torrents. And I'm thinking about doing a video where I show how I do that, but that would be a members only video because I don't want to give away all my secrets just to everyone. So anyway, um, maybe I'll put a link to this in the description, but I also always put a link to my artwork files, my uh, handheld artwork files and everything. So uh, we'll leave that. Now we're gonna go to MAME. Okay, I'm going to type in GNW, and that's going to show me, because all these ROM names start with GNW. We are on Vermin. Uh, this came out in 1980 by Nintendo. It's probably going to load up with some fan art version. Yeah, this is a fan art version. So if I hit tab and then go to video options, and then screen number zero, you see there's all these options here. So like unit and backdrop would show what it looks like without the fan art so that's what it would look like if it were if you actually had the real unit in your hands i would normally do unit only but you can see the gameplay here is in a smaller window so i don't know if the the dot lay file that you know describes how the artwork should be laid out is wrong i looked at it and tried to figure it out but dot lay files are kind of complicated and i don't know how to fix this so that's why I'm going with the uh, unit only fan art. So all of these here are, they're gonna be in the artwork zip file. Um, so that's where they're coming from. And by default, it usually zoom to screen area will usually be on. So you wanna turn that off because if you turn it on, it does that. And I, I, I would rather see the whole unit personally so, here we go. It's just left and right. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, I haven't turned my controller on. Oh, I might have to exit MAME then. Yeah, so, if you don't have your controller on first and you go into MAME, it's not going to accept the inputs. You're going to have to exit out and then go back into MAME. Now we're going to Vermin. And now when I press, press left, see, if you look at the left button, it's animating. If I press the right button, that's animating now. Even all those uh, buttons at the bottom can animate. The game A, game B, time. So let's start game A. I don't know what the volume is at. It might be crazy high. Oh, it's not too high. So you just press left and right. And 
game A starts very slow like this. Game B starts faster. So here's what I did. Yesterday, I was playing, I played a bunch of Game & Watch games and did videos. And I didn't realize until after I was done with seven videos that it, my mic audio wasn't recorded. And right now I'm using a mic to record me and the game all in the same same audio source. Because of an OBS update, it automatically unchecked my audio source. That shit happened to me before, it drives me crazy. So that's something, if you're using OBS, you gotta make sure if you have more than one audio source. So I, ha I have two audio sources normally so that I can adjust the volume. Like one will be the game, one will be my microphone. Oh shit. Okay. And then I can adjust them independently in case like my voice is too low or my voice is too high. Or the game volume is too low or whatever. But in this case, I'm only using the microphone. One sound source. Ooh, ooh. Um, but that one source got unchecked by after the OBS update, and I didn't know. So I'm going to redo all seven games. But that, know what that means? That means I'm gonna be better, cause I. That means I got some practice yesterday. Yeah, I'm definitely doing better than I did yesterday. I was already dead by now. Okay. We'll do, this is game A, we'll do this, then we'll do game B. This was uh, high tech, top of the line shit in 1980. You're a lucky guy to have this. And your uh, bus ride, train ride, whatever, subway, ride going to work. I remember when I was a kid, some kids had these. They'd bring them to like daycare and shit and be like, everybody would be like, oh, let me play, I wanna play. But then the same thing happened once the Game Boy came out. There'd be a kid that would bring a Game Boy and then everybody would be dying to play that. I had a Game Gear. I think I brought it to school once. I don't remember. In middle school. I had Tiger handhelds though too. I didn't have Game & Watch, I don't think. But I had Tiger. And you can play Tiger handhelds with MAME also. And I have artwork for that. So if you look at... In the description for the link to my artwork, you can get that. And I want to do videos of the Tiger handhelds too. Oh, uh, getting, all right, getting tricky. Yeah, I'm really blowing away my performance from yesterday. So I guess there's, at least there's that. I guess that means it's gonna be a longer video. As always, I encourage anybody to try to beat my high score and let me know what you got in the comments.
I would like to die at some point. They need to ramp it up. Oh, I fucked. I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah. And here, you got. You have to make sure. What? Yeah, when you die, it's really hard to recover sometimes because you have to immediately hit. Whatever killed you, if you don't hit it immediately, you'll take another another death. Wah! You fuckers. Is that it? I think that's it. I love that sound. Uh, so 381. Beat 381. So now we're going to do game B. To do game B, we're going to press 2. It's not working. Is my keyboard... Yeah, my keyboard is working. There, now let's go. I think this just starts faster. Yeah, they're sending. They're definitely sending more shit at me. Oh, and there's some different looking. There's some different looking um, moles that come up, and I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Are they popping up like out of nowhere without giving me warning or something? Oh shit! The whole the whole name of the game with these. Th oh, what did I did I die again? What? The whole name of the game with these things is like knowing the timing of like which enemy is going to appear first. really got to pay attention. If you had this game in the 80s ah, or 90s, let me know. Ugh. All right. Uh, I think that's it for Vermin. We're gonna, gonna do more. Thanks for watching.